All right, if you were having any troubles with homework problem number 20. So let's just talk about this. You need this 2 thirds in parentheses to the power x minus 1. So the whole entire thing is to the power x minus 1 plus 4. So in order to type this into buzz, I'm going to have to put the parentheses 2 divided by 3. I'm going to use a caret button to the power but if I just type in x minus 1, it's not going to give me the whole thing. It's going to be only to the power of x and then minus 1. That thing needs to be in parentheses. And then don't forget about that plus 4. I mean, a lot of people, for some reason, they just forget or they don't see that plus 4. Let me show you what that looks like with the equation editor. So now, as I look at this one, if I go onto this line and I type in 2 slash 3, 2 divided by 3, to the power, I can use shift 6, x minus 1 plus 4. You should always get in the habit of using this equation editor because then you realize if you look down here, oh, that's not right at all. What did I do wrong? Oh, I didn't put the x minus 1 in parentheses. So you can say, okay, the thing, if there's more than one thing, it has to go in parentheses if it's going to be in part of a fraction or an exponent. Now I'm going to check that. Here we go. Two thirds. It looks exactly the way I wanted it to. And now I know I did it correctly by checking the equation editor. Again, just want to remind you, instead of using this caret button here, when you go to type it in, you can actually use this keyboard. So once I have two thirds to get to the power, I do x to the y. And then I'm going to type in parentheses x minus 1, same as before, and then plus 4, so it's all exactly the same. But again, come down here and check. Does it look right? It does. Good job. All right, hope this is clarified for you. Some thanks.